Catherine. Good day, you two. It's nice to see you here at this festive time. So, got any jobs for us? Hmm. I'm afraid I'd struggle to find you any commissions in the near future. With the arrival of the Windbloom Festival, the only task most Mondstadters are busy with is preparing gifts for their loved ones, but it's customary to do this oneself without assistance. Think of this period as the off-season for the Mondstadt branch of the Adventurers Guild. Spring is here, love is in the air, and everyone wants to relax and enjoy themselves. Even the cats at the tavern next door have been getting lovey-dovey with one another recently. Ew. Gross. You know that feeling you get when you burst out the doors after a nice nap, hoping to make it to the store before the limited edition? <laughs> Perhaps you two- Traveler! Paimon! Thank goodness I found you. Um... Whoa! Sucrose? Go ahead, Sucrose. We don't have anything else to do. Phew. Here's the situation. I've been appointed as the Windbloom Festival special and back. My task is to do good deeds for people during this festival of... Nice one! So how did they... They spun an empty bottle donated by Angel Share inside a circle with all our names on it. Whoever's named the bottle... I think so, too. But everyone said that it was to make it fair, so everyone had an equal chance to become... The thing is... I'm not great at dealing with people, so I was really daunted by it at first. But I- Luckily, I came up with a way to spur myself on, which has helped. Is that a test tube? Yep, every time I do a good deed for someone, I get them to breathe into a test tube. That way- Sounds... fascinating! Yes! I believe these breaths of joy will serve as valuable raw material- Mmm... <laughs> Actually, I meant so I can't say for sure until I have more test results to confirm my hypothesis, though. Alchemist smut. Anyway, I'm still missing. Oh, is that all you need help with? That's easy. Just treat Paimon to a sweet madame. Then you'll get your last breath of joy. Hey, come on! <sighs> so, does. No, joy isn't measured in those. Well, let me put it this way. Have you ever planted a fruit seed and cared for in the same way that those tender, sweet fruits are the product of your time and effort? The amount of joy, for example, in my... Similarly, in order to... Oh, Paimon! Long story short, you want us to help you find people... Oh, that's pretty tough given that it's the Windbloom Vest... Oh, I figured since you're such experienced travelers, you might have some ideas. Yes, you're right. Well, if he's in, then Paimon... Too. But, um, if things don't work out, can Paimon still get- Oh, come on, Traveler, this is a festival- Excuse me, Sucrose, could I borrow you for a second? Oh, sure. Be right back. Wait, is that who Paimon thinks it is? That's Kalei, right? When did she arrive at- Let's go say hi! Kali! Hey! Uh, oh, <laughs> hey you guys. You were staring into space just now. Um, <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm fine. I was just looking at a Mondstadt children's book in the souvenir shop while I was flipping through it. A piece of paper fell out. The writing on it was for if you can do these things, you may light the... And what does these things... Find a flower that is not of this world. Find a guide who will never get lost. So, four things in total. Here, have a look. I asked a lady who owns the store about it, but she said that she didn't know any... Hi there. Sorry to butt in, but... What's... Oh, <laughs> it was... Hmm. That is strange. I've read that book. Um... Do you know her? Let Paimon do the honors. Kale, this is Sucrose, an alchemist with the Knights of Avonius. And Sucrose, meet Kale. She's a trait. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, mm-mm. Getting 
backward. So, Sucrose, what are your thoughts on this prophecy? Could it be re- I, um, without having- mm. Um, but if you want my subjective opinion, I don't think that it's a- The only people who read children's books are those with a childlike wonder and imagination. Or children, of course. Would they really do this just to spread lies and ruin someone's innocence? I can't- That's a great take! I love it. Exactly! Who would want to hurt a- Okay, so... What do you think the blessing is? Hmm... If I had to guess... Maybe a fairy that can make people- I haven't read many fairy tales. So, this is pure speculation. With no other information on hand or- Wow! Her guesswork is really good, though. I want to pick her brain, but... Will she find it annoying if I keep at- We've only just met, after all. Uh, what's the best thing to say to someone you're meeting for the first time? Uh, well, <laughs> then, what would you wish? Um, uh huh? Huh? You can't waste it on that. You've got a great. That's very kind of you. Kali! I know that voice. Kali! You made good time, huh? You're way earlier. I spotted your green hair way off in the distance. Good thing my eyes are sharp, or I'd have... Amber! Have you been doing well? Did you... finish? You bet. They're getting yummier each time you make them. Huh? Wait, remind Paimon... Have... Mm-hmm. A long time ago, I had a lot of help from a lot of people here in Mons. So ever since my Elizar got better... I've been looking out for an opportunity to come back to Mondstadt and tell them all the news that I've been cured. <laughs> if it's okay with everyone, why don't I take Kale for a walk around town? I'd like to show her some of the places she didn't get to- Of course. Sure, go right ahead! <coughs> I, uh... Um... Sorry, Amber. I agreed to meet my traveling companions by the city gate in a few minutes, so... Oh, that's all right. In that case, you guys go rest up, and I'll go see Master Jean to ask for some time. Oh, okay. Traveler Sucrose, could you look up? I'll come get her later and take her out. There's still a whole bunch of people I need to... Sure, no problem. Awesome. See you... Um... Are you all right there, Kale? You... <sighs> I'm just feeling a little shy today. <clears throat> Amber wants to introduce me to more of her friends. I've only met Sucro so far, and I'm already struggling. I wish I had a little more self-confidence. Then I'd find it... Uh, it's nearly time! Let... Why is this humble windmill such a great view? I mean, it's understandable. It must have been a long time since you last came to Mondstadt. Because it is the true Great Vayu Viastra? <sighs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you don't get it. Vyu, Vayu, and also Mahamatra, Vayu. Whew, am I glad to see you. And who's this young lady? Master, this is Sucrose, an alchemist with the Knights of Favonius. We just met. Sucrose, this is my teacher, Tainari. He's a highly respected forest watcher in Sumeru, and he's- Kale's exaggerating. I'm Tainari. <sighs> so you have a teacher as well. The pleasure is all mine, Tainari, sir. Yep, he's extremely knowledgeable in this is General Mahamatra Sino of the Sumeru Academia. He's Greetings. Though if uh I might say so, we're purely here for yeah. personal reasons. You needn't be unduly concerned with our official positions. And Kale, 
There's no need to use my full title. Sino is fine. Or sir, if you absolutely must. Indeed. We're not here in an official capacity. Just to keep Kale company on her vacation. Keep me company? But it was you two that insisted. Kale is very important to us. We felt obliged to ensure her safety on the long, treacherous journey to Mondstadt. But I've been here on my own loads of times before. What about your work, though? What if something bad happens while the general- There should be no issues. I have left my duties in the hands of my subordinates. Oh, Sucrose. What were you saying? I was just going to mention that... I think we're in a somewhat similar situation. I'm an assistant to Mr. Albedo, Mondstadt's genius alchemist. Oh, please, Sucrose. Genius is an unnecessary epithet. It will serve only to leave an exaggerated impression of me in the minds of our- M mr Albedo, but it is an objective truth. Hey, Albedo's here too! Great! The more the merrier! Hmm... So tell me, Sucrose, since your specialty is bio-alchemy, what do you know about the anti-toxic properties of the calla lily? As it happens, I've studied the Kel Lily in quite some detail before, with it being a species native to Mondstadt. I wrote a whole report on my findings. If you're interested, Miss. <sighs> We're supposed to be here on vacation, and you're already thinking about how to improve your herbal medicines? Also, I thought we'd agreed to take on new identities for this trip. What new identities? Mine was Adventurer Sino, skilled desert explorer. Tainari's was technological consultant to the treasure hoarders, and Kale's was traveling musician. Very much so. I do wish some of the less cautious adventurers in the Avidya forest would consider what philanimo mushrooms lack in texture. They make up for in not causing vomiting or diarrhea. <laughs> Are you contemplating using some compounds from the calla lily as active ingredients? Yes. I gathered a few on the way here, and my initial research suggests to me that it could be worth- Okay, I got but As much as I don't- It takes a huge amount of experimental data to conclusively prove how different drugs interact. Add in the time for procurement and delivery of essential materials, and I'm not sure if we could complete development before- Then please, allow me to help. Mr. Albedo! Apologies for my tardy entrance in the present discussion. I understand you're looking to make an antidote for poisonous fungi, correct? If you happen to have some samples with you, or relevant documentation on hand, perhaps you might give- But before that, I... Arrangement. Were you quietly writing this up the whole time? Pylon didn't even notice! Hardly. Rather, I should apologize for interrupting a serious discussion between trained professionals, especially after they've traveled so far to be here, when I myself am neither an adventurer nor a... Nevertheless, I would encourage you to have a knowledgeable local arrange your detail. Take a look. And should you find anything here to be... This is too kind of you. These arrangements are quite a- It looks great! Even Paimon feels like tagging along for the food and board. That's why it's called tagging along- Very comprehensive. The adventurer, technological consultant, and musician- Just one thing. We'd like the chance to cook as well. Why don't we change the group dinner to a camping and cook- I'll help pitch the tent. I can help too. Um, and Paimon will take him to Good Hunter to order some starters. Mondstadt's cold cut platter is not to be missed. Great. Then it's Sucrose and I will bring the three of you to your inn for a quick rest. You two. Sure. 
Come and would you like anything? Um, do we uh want anything else? Yay! So you do. Paimon will give you the sweet flower from that sweet madame as a win. <laughs> no need to. <laughs> If that was a wind bloom treat, then Paimon wishes it could. Looks like we're all here. Not at all. We just came early to set everything up. Since Kali put up the tent so quickly, but still managed to tie very sturdy knots. You can... I didn't do much apart from passing... <laughs> thanks. It's all thanks to Master and Sino. They taught me... What can I say? For a skilled adventurer, this is... <sighs> Are you quite finished? Or were you going to sing each other's praises till the moon rises? That sunshine sprat was really very good. I didn't watch you cook it, but I believe that the prominent umami flavor of the dish owes itself to more than the fish. That's correct. Any f Let me think. The aroma was quite uniform. Unlike that of a spice blend, it was also unfamiliar. As far as edible Mondstadt plant species are concerned, calla lilies are usually used in small lampgrass. That's right. I've long heard that Sumeru's fish with cream sauce is noted for its gentle texture, which brings up here in Mondstadt. Oh, we're not quite as varied in the use of spices as in Sumeru, but the principle of bringing certain distinct flavors to the forefront through- I liked it a lot. I I'm curious as to the exact ratio- I'll write a copy of the recipe for you. Would anyone like to try the nutrient-dense meal I made? I'll have some. What about you, Kali? It doesn't look like you've eaten very much. Uh, no. I just... Hmm. Um, sorry. I didn't... Tainari. While we were on the road, we spotted... Which day was this? Just after passing through stone... Hmm. Uh, Sino, are you sure your eyes were working that day? Or maybe your head. Paimon always flies. There's no way she'd ever. Work. Hmm. Is that right? I thought that you'd made me snacked on too many local. <sighs> no. Ground, you know. As in ground up, but also the ground. Ground nuts make you fall to the ground. Ah. <sighs> Think of this as part of a process of getting to know Sino. Uh, the Still, we could test the hypothesis. What hypothesis? That plant species indigenous to Mondstadt may have an effect on the motor function. Hey! Paimon's not yet anyway. By your logic, wouldn't that mean that eating, say, Zytum peaches? That would make a sick Paimon peachy in no time or something. Hey! You two. <laughs> I think the Traveler and Paimon's conversations are more entertaining than Sino's jokes. Uh, I see. You must... You seem much cheerier now that you're here in Mondstadt, Sino. Actually, feel... That's because I'm Sino the Adventurer. Hmm? It's not? In fairness, you only saw him in his work mode while you were in Sumeru. He's actually like this most of the time when- Yep, it's true. Sometimes when he's eating, he'll grumble about how the bowl is too shallow for the amount of food it contains and other random stuff- I understand. Then allow me to reintroduce myself. Before, you knew me as- <sighs> Yeah, so that's another thing he does. He'll keep repeating something he thinks is- Hmm. 
So you have two different mental states? Almost like different... I think in your case, the two states we would end up with would be highly conscientious sucrose and <laughs> stupefied sucrose. Oh, by the way, was there any reason in particular that you chose Mondstadt as your destination on this occasion? Oh, well, Lisa once told me that the Windbloom Festival is one of Mondstadt's biggest events of the year. I wanted to take this opportunity to give everyone a Windbloom as a token of my heartfelt gratitude for- Plus, it was a good chance for Kale to get out and meet some new people. Kale, Lily. What? Kale's Windbloom. Maybe she should call it a Kale, Lily. It sounds very Mondstadt. There's also cauliflower, which would technically make more sense. <laughs> but somehow, it doesn't sound as nice. <laughs> Moving swiftly on... Wow! He just completely ignored the joke and carried on the conversation. <sighs> just sometimes that's the only way forward. <sighs> Sumeru's been through some major changes recently. And things at work have only just started to calm down. I don't get many opportunities to take a vacation. And this was a chance to join Kale on her trip while also learning a few things about Mondstadt's flora and fauna that I'll be able to pass on to my peers and students on my return. Two birds with one stone. How about you, Sino? I came to ensure Kale's safety. That's just an excuse. Plain and simple. <sighs> Also, there's the matter of a genius invocation TCG custom made card back. Aha! So you did have an ulterior motive! Have you all played genius invocation TCG before? And that is why I am proud to call you my. When I first began contemplating getting a new card back, I asked around before eventually deciding to ask the legendary a friend of mine, Sawada. Whom I played cards with on occasion, had been to Inazuma for the Irodori festival. He told me that Kalx was a mo- Kalx? You mean, he's a friend of- I see. So? No, that is inaccurate. I came here prince- You most certainly did not. Kale's been here on the quiet numerous times, and this is the first time you- Not only me, Sim applies- <laughs> If my writer friend were here now- I'm sure he would describe this curious coincidence as having the makings of a good... Oh, here he comes. Wait, you mean you're Mr. Calx? Having my new friends address me by my pen name feels... Uh... Huh. So you're Calx. Sino's been talking about you non-stop recently. He's intent... Uh, you didn't have to... I don't usually take private commissions, but... I believe that we are friends now, all of us. Our conversations have been deep and interesting and so... <laughs> uh, and given that you've come all this way from Sumeru to see me... Wow, your teacher's so nice. I feel the same about yours. Um, well, they definitely have... So, how much should I budget for the Timeless Masterpiece? Surely, Timeless Masterpiece... Any artwork fit to appear on the reverse of my card decks is by definition a Timeless master. Don't mind him. These TCG nutjo... I see. So, this has an almost religious significance. Uh, my jokes? I do. Really? Yeah, well, the joke's ability to induce laughter is... A separate matter. If I might interrupt, uh, does anyone else smell something? Ah, uh, my nutritional meal! Will it be okay? Should we go over and take a look too? Wanna come over for tea? Yeah, I Good thing Tainari's nose is so sharp. Has he been in this kind of situation a lot before? <sighs> I know, it's just... I'm sorry to disappoint Sino. Oh, yes. Kale seems a little... depressed. 
I noticed she was in a low mood when I remember that note she I was just thinking. I want to try solving this riddle. Oh, yeah! She's the one- Exactly. Maybe she'll be willing to breathe into my test tube. But as much as I'd like to make progress in my research, I'd pr All right. Well you will? Then tell me, honestly. Uh-huh. All right. Let's meet at the alchemy crafting bench in the city. I've got some thinking to do in the mean- We're back. Oh, what a shame. You just missed a joke about when- Stop. Please. That bad, huh? Hmm. Well, Didn't you say you want to see the Dragon of the East at some point? Tomorrow morning. And you? What? I'll go into the mountains to have a stroll and collect a few plants as- oh, uh, Perhaps I could join you? I'll be looking for inspiration for these- Found you! I knew I was onto something as soon as I saw the fire. Wow, you have re- That's an outrider for you. Uh-oh. Did we break the fire safety- Actually, you didn't. Strictly speaking, you should have reported your plans first. But since two of our very own alchemists are here, I'm happy to look the other- Ah, yes, introductions. I'm Amber, and this is the Reconnaissance Company Captain Eula, a good friend of mine. Good evening. You are friends of Kale, yes? A pleasure to meet you. Oh, Amber and Eula. The pleasure is ours. I've heard a lot of- Oh, really? Oh, you asked that last time, too. I'd say. We hear the latest news about you. <laughs> Glad to know we've made a good impression so far. Anyway, we're just here to collect Kali, so don't let us interrupt. Come on, Kali. We're going to take you to check out a few scenic. Okay, great. <laughs> Still as hot. Hmm? You know? Yes, we've met. She's Kali's most important friend. And for the. <sighs> For you, her outgoing personality means she can make friends. Hmm. It's getting late, and we still have a lot lined up tomorrow. I suggest we all head back and get some. All right, I'll. St You're gonna get the tone deaf bard to check out that note, aren't you? <laughs> Guess Paimon knows you. Knowing him, he should be hitting the tavern. We can go corner him and make him. In <laughs> Oh, it's been a while. Hi, my girl, get tone deaf by drinking this. Put your drink down and get your game face on. We've got some important. Uh, okay. So, what do you make of it? <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? It's the Windbloom Festival right now. Uh, well, if you won't tell us the answer, could you at least tell us if. Sounds to me like you want a hint or two. <laughs> uh, the person who wrote this prophecy is very powerful. If you manage to solve the riddle. Also, I have. Once you've found the four things, I'll even write the location down for you. <laughs> Whatever. We weren't expect. You can get back to guzzling wine and. Oh, woe is me. Paimon sees me as nothing more. Th there are actually a great many things that we bards are required to do. <laughs> it just happens. Once this is over, would you like to join me for a drink? You know. A flower that is not of this world. Hmm. Sucrose! We've got some good news and some bad news. Um, what? Huh? Really? Don't most people. Oh, all right then. Base, the wind said that the prophecy is real and that your ideas are really good. That doesn't sound like bad news. So what's... Uh, Paimon ate the bad news. <laughs> uh... Blame Sino. If it's not funny, then it's his fault. <laughs> it's fine.
fine. Well, that puts my mind at rest. Now, back to the other issue I've been mulling over. I was thinking about the flower that is not of this world. It could mean a human cultivated variety that doesn't occur in nature. But that's basically claiming that it doesn't come from this world in the first place, when actually it's just a variant of an existing breed. So, the initial question is, can the flower's origins be traced back to a natural organism? But then... Whoa, whoa! Okay, um... I did have... Albedo may know the answer, but asking him right away would be like asking the teacher for the answers to your exam paper. It would render our search for the truth meaningless. I'd rather try and figure this out for myself. Could it be the... Oh! Now that you mentioned, the wind bloom doesn't refer to a specific flower. Everyone defined. In which case, the wind bloom doesn't exist in reality. I've made a note. Okay. Yay! Paimo is actually useful this time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guess we have that sweet. I'll need oh. some time to prepare. Could you thing? In the meantime. Oh. Uh, I originally wanted to leave it as a surprise for her, and I also didn't want to get her hopes up over. But you're right, Paimon. I'll need to be careful how I word it. But I'll try to find some time over the next couple days to mention it to her. All right. Thanks so much. 